Well, hey everybody, it's Uber Grace, and I'm out and about, just on the edge of the moors. And uh, it's absolutely lovely where I am right now. And I can just see the Hogwarts Express uh, railway just over there as well. Just wanted to mention, you've ever heard people saying, it's okay, God is in control. And it's just, it's a weird phrase, because is he really, is God really in control? Let's have a look. First of all, if he is, there's so much stuff going on. There's a whole universe out there. Seven billion plus people. How many animals, creatures, insects, birds, fish. So many molecules, so many plants. Just so much going on. And some people believe that God is micromanaging every last little bit. What sort of narcissistic... Um, psychopath really is going to micromanage every last drop of uh, of life in the in the universe and everywhere it just seems so bizarre and yet people say it's okay God is in control the other thing as well that you do I wonder is that really if he really is actually in control and he's all powerful and he's all loving he's doing a really awful job isn't he I mean come on God sort it out you can do better than that, surely. <laughs> you know, maybe it's just... I don't think there's even a scripture that says it's actually in control. He's on the throne. But you see, Queen Elizabeth, Donald Trump, they're kind of on the throne, aren't they? President and everything. They, they're over stuff. They're going, the, the government's on their shoulders. But they're not in control. They give that to us. <laughs> you know... He's given us authority. He's given us the keys of the kingdom. He's given us all sorts of stuff. Everything we need for life and godliness. And if our life isn't where it should be, it's because we're misusing what we've got and what we've been given. I don't really see it as, as God being in control. I think it's actually a really unhelpful thing to say. And uh, it works for some people. Some people think, oh, it's lovely. Oh, no, thank God. God's in control. If he's in control, why are you in that mess in the first place? You know, there's another thing as well. People like to um, say, oh, I'm going to give control of my life over to God. You know, God has got control of my life. And yet God's given you the authority. He's given you everything. You know, it's like, why on earth would God want to control your life? He wants you to be like him because he's made you to be like him. You are made in his image to be like him. Little Elohims on the earth. So why would you want, why would he want you to be giving him the control of your life. The whole idea of, you know, that song, Jesus, take the wheel. And he's like, no, take it back. Let me show you how to live. Let me show you how to rise above. Let me show you how to be like me. No, no, if you think God's in control, you've got the wrong end of the stick. And you probably get, get, keep getting hit by a stick in life as well. No, it's time you took back the authorities, made you a king, he's made you a priest. Revelation 1 verse 6, you know, he's, he's done all these things for you, not for you to abdicate responsibility for your life and blame everything on the devil or him on, in control. No, rise up people, grab a hold of who you are in him and uh, you be in control. He's Lord over all, he's the first source of everything, all those things, absolutely right. But actually, miss micromanaging control freak that's getting it completely wrong, I think that's a pretty dodgy thing to say about our God, don't you? Anyway, it's nice to be out and about and to see you here. And I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe if you're on YouTube. And I'll see you soon. Bye.